Hi students, Logan Phillips here, your guide to computers and technology. Today we're going to be working with the SimNet environment, specifically the Microsoft Office PowerPoint 2016 Project 3-5. So let's go ahead and open it up, see what files we're working with, and get started and seeing what our outcomes are for today. Now starting off, you should have opened up and downloaded two documents from online. One, your presentation, which is your last name, first name, at presentation delivery 3 and two is the instruction file, uh, independent project 3-5. Now of course with all independent projects, this is a building up off of our guided projects. Now our instructions and our outcomes are pretty simple and very similar to our 3-1 document. We're going to apply a background picture fill, apply some animations, create and print notes pages, hide and reveal slide slides, rehearse presentations and save timings, use the presentation view, use ink annotation pens, and record a presentation with narration. So we're going to do a few different items here and see how it goes. Please remember that I am using a, a, dual, <coughs> I am using a dual screen system, so my instructions will not ever be shown to you. As we read through this, I will try to read out that I am on step one, step 7a, step nine, to let you know where I'm at and what I'm currently working on. If I find an error that I made as I go through this process, I'll back up and tell you where the errors came from and what step it is I'm fixing. And so let's open up and see our starting file and what we're going to be actually working on today. All right, so we have a 12-slide presentation done in red, presentation delivery by Devon Washington, Solution Seekers Incorporated. So this is our presentation that we're going to be modifying and changing with all those skills and outcomes from the instruction file. Now the very first step I always do is do a file, backstage view, save as, and I browse over to my desktop, and I save a copy of this presentation making sure that I'm not accidentally uploading a file that I hadn't done any changes to. This makes it nice and easy for me to clean up the files and upload everything at the end of the system. So we have done step one and two, and it looks like we don't have a lot of steps on this, only about 12 or so. So let's go ahead and go to step three, and we're gonna apply a fade transition with the smoothly effect option with a duration of one to all slides. So we'll slide one selected, I'm going to come up to my transitions, I'm going to choose a fade transition, and hopefully it's the very second one, so we've got none and fade. I'm going to go into my transitions tab, timing grouping, and I'm going to choose a duration of one second, and I'm going to choose to apply to all. So now we have a transition for every one of our slides. We are now done with step three, moving on to step four. We're going to apply animations, so we know we're going to be working on our animations tab on our ribbon, and we're going to apply animations on five different slides and change the effects options, starts, and durations according to the table that they gave us. So on our instructions, we have this table. We can see slide two is getting a text box with a specific animation, effect, a start, and a duration. So we're going to work through slides two, five, seven, eleven, and twelve. So let's click on slide two. And the first thing that's getting an animation is the text box. You only get one. So let's go ahead and you only get one. We're selecting the text box itself, not the individual cursor or individual text. We're going to do an animation effect of a bounce. So let's go ahead and find bounce. We're going to change the animation effect options. And we're going to do as one object. And we're going to choose to do this timing wise after previous. And we're going to do a duration of two seconds. So we have done slide two. Let's go ahead and go to slide five. We're gonna click on the butterfly image. We're gonna choose a animation of grow and turn entrance. We're gonna choose an animation effect option uh, of none. We're not modifying that at all. And we're gonna do a start after previous in the timing grouping. And we're going to do a duration of two seconds. On to slide seven. We are going to click on the graphic wipe entrance. So let's go ahead and actually click on the graphic. We're going to do a wipe entrance. So there we go. We're going to do an effect option of from left. And we're going to do after previous as a timing and two minutes, or two seconds and 50, two second point five, 2.5 seconds. All right, hard to get that out. 
at step 11 or slide 11 we're going to choose the graph our text box to make it memorable uh, let's see we're going to do a bounce entrance and we're going to do an effect option as one object we're going to choose a timing after previous and we're going to do a two second duration and slide 12 we're going to choose the success graphic shape we're going to choose a grow shrink let's see we're going to have to open up the radio button and find this one uh, grow shrink on the emphasis we're going to choose an effect option of both larger so both and larger and after previous is the timing and 2.5 seconds all right we are finishing up with slot our step 4e there we're now moving on to step 5 we're going to prepare speaker notes on two slides so in the notes for slide 9 apply bullets and indent the bulleted list so let's go to slide 2 first we're going to open up our notes panel by going to the very bottom where we see the notes open it up and now i'm going to drag it up a little bit because i want to see it a little bit easier and i'm going to type in the notes for slide two Okay, so now let's go down to slide nine. Now for this, I'm gonna switch my views a little bit instead of using the notes below because they want a special stuff. I'm gonna come up to my view tab. I'm gonna come to my notes page view. And here in the notes makes it a little bit easier. Let's type in the information that they wanted. Now I got some misspellings here, so I'm gonna right-click on them and fix those real quick. Now they wanted then uh, one more enter, and we got some more information here. We gotta type in. All right, and I get some more misspellings. Sometimes I type faster than my brain thinks. So now we're going to modify this a little bit differently. We're going to put these as um, that looks like a jumped screen here. There we go. Now let's bullet these list. So use Homer and avoid j jokes. Use humor. We're going to come up and highlight those two lines. We're going to come to our home tab and we're going to go ahead and bullet point those two. Next, we're going to bullet point break the ice until feel comfortable. So break the ice, feel comfortable, bullet point those as well. And they wanted us to put in a dash mark here uh avoid jokes so let's delete my dash mark and user type and we're going to hold down the alt key which is the very weird 0151 and put in that nice long dash okay so it looks like we have the same uh, we are going to hit a enter here get rid of that dash and enter here and get rid of that bullet as well. 
So we've mimicked their slides here on the top right hand corner. So we've now done steps 5B and we are moving on to step 6. We're halfway done with this project and you're only 10 minutes in and that's with listening to me talk. So we're going to print notes pages for slides 5, 6, and 7. And they say, very important, complete the step only if directed to do so by your instructor. You're not instructed to do so, so we're not going to actually print it, but I will show you how. We're going to go to a file, backstage view. We're going to choose print. Instead of printing all slides, we'll choose a custom range. And we'll do 5 through 7. We'll do a notes page instead of full page, and that's how you would print this document out. So let's go ahead and back out of backstage view, top left corner, and I'm going to switch back to normal view on the bottom right corner, going back to my normal views. And so we've now done step six, and we're going to go to step seven. We're going to hide slide eight. So let's come over here to the navigation pane on the left hand side, click on slide eight. We can just right click on slide eight opening up our pop-up menu and go to the very bottom right above new comment and hit hide slide. Now notice that it stays in your navigation pane but with an X or a slash through the number and it's now subdued because in presentation view this one won't show. We are now in step 8 we're going to review the presentation to check transitions and animations. So we're going to click on this transitions tab and deselect on mouse page. So let's go up to transitions and we're going to deselect on mouse click and change after to 0.3 seconds and 0.3 seconds and we're going to hit apply to all so let's go up to the page slide one and we're going to do a presentation of this so let's go to slideshow and we're going to choose in the start slideshow grouping from beginning and let's look at our transitions So far, so good. Things are popping in about every three seconds. Um, now, I'm not going to make you watch this whole presentation because that's boring, and I don't want to sit here and watch it go through. It's pretty slow, but if you're talking about this in real time, it'd be okay. So I'm going to hit escape, get out of that, go back into my editing, and we're going to start from step nine. We're going to use the presentation view to review your presentation. We've deselected use timings. We've done step 9B. We use the presentation. Uh, we've done step 9 A through E at this point. So in step 10, we're going to use the presentation view to add some note annotations here. So let's go ahead and back into our slide presentation. So we're going to do um, from beginning, we're going to display our presentation here. Okay. Now I'm going to pause uh, my automatic progression in the top left hand corner and I'm going to look at these as a whole thing. Slide one, I'm going to pause this. Okay, let's try that again. Presentation view. I'm going to show you my presentation slide and on slide two. Let's go here to slide two. We are going to using the pin and we're going to use the pin. And we're going to circle the words be professional. So here on the slide, we're going to circle be professional. And we're on slide four, rectangle around the words eyes contact. Slide four. We're going to do a
And let's draw a rectangle around the words smile and eye contact. So we're going to click on the marker and choose pen. And let's draw it around smile and draw it around eye contact. All right. So we've done step 10B. We're now going to go slide 7. And I'm going to pause this real quick. Now I'm going to click on the circle words. Uh, circle words avoid monotone. So let's just and avoid monotone. There we go. And slide 10. We're going to circle end of time. Now, this automatic progression can get really obnoxious very, very quickly. Make sure that you pause your stuff so that you can actually do your markings. End of time. And let's go through the end of the presentation. And we're going to be asked if we want to save this information. Yes, we want to keep it. Okay. You now see that on our actual side presentation, we have all these wonderful markings. Uh, I'm going to delete a couple of them that I'm, where I mismarked, just to be sure. Okay, so all of our markings are good. So we've done steps 10, and at the file end, we're going to hit the file. We're going to choose to save this, close it down, and you're now ready to upload this, get your grading, figure out anything you uh, missed up on or anything I messed up on. All right, guys, I'm Logan Phillips. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, send me an email. Look in period Phillips1 at tulsacc.edu. Come to my office at 8132 at the Northeast Campus or give me a call at 918-595-7485. All right, have a very fruitful day. Bye, guys.